of Yoruba activists and the freedom fighter Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Bowu, has said international refugees law allow his clients to go to any country of his choice with a fake passport. According to the lawyer identified as Ojo, the coordinator legal affairs on Igbo's case, who made it known, said Article 31 and the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees stated that the contacting state should not impose penalties on account of their illegal entry or presence on refugees who coming directly from a territory where their life or freedom was threatened in the sense of Article 1, enter or are present in their territory without authorization, provided they present themselves without delay to the authorities and show good curse for their illegal entry or presence. The contacting states should not apply to the movements of such refugees restrictions other than those which are necessary and such restrictions should only be applied until their status in the country is regularized or they obtain admission into another country. The contacting states should allow such refugees a reasonable period and all the necessary facilities to obtain admission into another country. Record that Sunday Boo was arrested along with his wife by security operatives in Cotonou, Benin Republic, while trying to fly to Germany after escaping from Nigeria. He was he has been under detention since the day he was arrested by security operatives in Cotonou as he faces several charges by Beninese authorities. A lot of Nigerians have reacted and so many persons are not actually happy about the arrest of Sondigbo, even the invention of the Nigeria DSS in Sondigbo's house in Ibadan, uh, Soka, Ibadan, Soka residents and all that, when they came and K2 officer associates arrested 13 you know, of his relatives and destroyed Sunday in Bogu's properties. Then, and declared them wanted. Most Nigerians are not happy about what is really happening. All right, someone said, uh, reporting himself when ordinary Benin Republic is not safe for him. But according to the incident that happened in his house, DSS killed two people and took away their bodies. The only safe place for Igbo is Europe countries. When Kano is not safe in Kenya, most Africans are wicked. They can sell one another in the name of money. You too are wicked, and you know that. My view is that federal government under Buhari and his Muslim and Malami will not like this nice international law for the issue of Sondibo, but God is in our side. Buhari and his Fulanese DSS will be put to shame. The intelligent lawyer has pointed out, let's see how that would be circumcised by the Republic and their agents. All right, someone said, yeah, I don't think this lawyer is serious at all. You are the one that previously said Igbo was not with a fake passport. Are you now confirming to us again now that he entered with a fake passport, don't mislead us. Definitely, Sunday Bowu must have hearted on the wrong advice given, you know, to him. All right, Nigerians are reacting and they are still talking. Someone said, yes, yeah, the Nigerian government are the one initiating everything. If not, the Beninese government knows that Sunday Bowu is not a bad person. They are just looking for all ways to make sure that they deal with Sunday Boo. But this government has forgotten that they are not God. God can change any situation at any time. 
Nigerians are still talking. Someone said, yeah, when the Fulanese were killing our people, some people who stood for us. And the government is just, you know, biased because some people who stood for their people, you know, when he asked the Fulani herdsmen in Ibarampa, in Gankara to leave, the federal government is not happy with him at all. And that is just their reasons for, you know, looking for some people here and there and here. All right, someone said yeah, the lawyers they should try and do something about this because the federal government they they know what they are doing, they want to make sure that they deal with Sunday Bull. You know, this government they are wicked, whatever they mark, they want to push you to any length. If this government could bribe people and hire assassins to adopt the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra to Nigeria, these people, they can do anything. But last, last, we go give God glory because then go all fail. These are Nigerians reacting. Someone said, yeah, you can imagine a government that disobeyed the rules of law. They are above the law. The DSS of Nigeria is above the law. The federal government, the presidency, is above the law. They do things in their own way. Whatever that pleases them, that is what they do. But there is no problem. God must surely see us true. And these are Nigerians, you know, Nigerians talking about what uh, Sonny Bubu's lawyer have just reviewed, uh, reviewed. According to him, he said, if you are a refugee, you can enter any country with a fake passport and all that. So if this is how they are going to go with this, if actually Sonny Bubu, you know, went to Benin Republic with fake passport, that means Sonny Bubu is going to be a free man soon. Because according to them, Sunday Boo is a refugee. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly hit the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.